Hey cats, what's happening? Off on an adventure today. As you can see, I'm solo without my wife. We had purchased tickets quite some time ago for the Power Piston show at the IX Center in Cleveland. And uh, I guess we didn't take into account you know the schedule of her chemotherapy is kind of hard to uh, plan anything ahead of time uh, but to make a long story short she's very very sick uh, down uh, she had chemo last week so uh, she's at the bottom of the barrel right now on the couch so being that we had a couple tickets uh, and didn't want to waste them I had a, a choice of a either giving them away uh, or finding somebody to go with me. So I called my brother and he agreed to go with me. So I'm going to pick him up and we're going to go up to the IX Center today to the Piston Power Show, which is any, I guess, anything with an engine there. So it ought to be interesting. It ought to be fun. Motorcycles, cars, uh, racing equipment, uh, off road. I, from what I understand, it's a pretty cool show. Well, let's go check it out. Hey, here he comes. <laughs> good well, timing. Yeah. Well, we're on our way to a good show. Well, this is going to be hard for you to believe. Yeah. After growing up in Northeast Ohio, living in Northeast Ohio, I've still never been to the IX Center. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. This is pretty odd to me. Well, it's going to be a fun experience for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big show, big show. And it goes all the way over into the South Hall over there, which now Steve and I just started, so we got a long way to go. Twenty-seven, three hundred and fifty horsepower. Awesome, beautiful. 41 Willys. There's a cool one. <laughs> yeah. Look at this lovely 1952 Buick. Oh my gosh, it's got such a lovely paint job. Mint condition. Beautiful. There you go, boys. An old school chopper. That BSA motor on it. 1963 BSA. There's it for your Chevy fans. Mercury. I'm gonna buy me a Mercury. Okay, when I was a kid, I, well, I was like 
17, 18 years old, it was always my dream to have a, a van and customize it. A custom Chevy van. <laughs> the boogie yeah, van. Classic 70s. <laughs> Fifty Harley Glide. <laughs> Japan head chopper. They're both fifty seven. I thought that looked yeah. older. Pan heads. For all you camping buffs, they got the classic sportsman camper. This one's got its own uh, mopeds that go with it. The Scotty, a 1962. Tiny little thing. back inside there. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody camps in there. 60s. Yeah. This is the monkey. This is what they're in production right now, the mini bikes. But the Trail 70s, that's that's the one we used to have when we were kids. Of course, ours was gold color. It was probably a different... Yeah, ours was a 73. That's a 1970. What was the one you guys had? We had this one, but it was a, it was a 1973, I think, model. Okay. But very similar. Yeah. There's your little Suzuki. Street Glide Bagger. That at one time was a Kawasaki, <laughs> but they've done so much work to it. There's a drag like they bike. Just built it from scraps. Got a V8 on it. It's almost like being at the, the motorcycle show. I mean, they got a lot of bikes here. An Asa. I couldn't come to the show without checking out the local 81 gear. Cleveland support here for 81. Red and white. But that's your local Hells Angels motorcycles. <laughs> Now there's a pretty car. That's a 1971 Pontiac Le Mans. That's a beauty. That's awesome. Boy, they even got boats in this show. Chris Kraft. 
96, a 69 Chevelle. How about a Mustang Cobra? That's my car right there. My first car was a white 66 Pontiac Tempest, and that's what you're looking at right there. The 66 Pontiac Tempest. Of course, this one's really, really jazzed up. It's got some nice wheels on it. The motor's built a little bit, but that's that's, that's the sharp. that's the car that I used to have when I was a kid. That front end, that grill there. That's the, the, iconic the, the typical iconic GTO <laughs> Tempest Pontiac look, yep. 1967 GTO. It's got that same grill. I would have that car. Yeah, I would I would do that. Okay, Steve, uh, this is like the ground airplane. You get yourself in the cockpit, and you go like, I, I don't know, we'll have to see what the top speed on this thing is, but it's definitely one of these things they try to break a world speed record in. This would have to be something that I put around in. I don't think I'd be <laughs> coming close to any record. Yeah, could you I imagine know. trying to pull in the driveway with that thing? <laughs> Okay, um, four hundred and twenty point nine five six mile per hour is the current speed on this thing, and their target speed is five hundred mile an hour. Really? So you climb in that almost like a fighter jet cockpit. That's intense. <laughs> Way more than I ever wanted to. Oh my God. Well, it's a uh, uh, piston power show, so of course they would have tractors here. It's a Romley oil pole. And trucks, not to forget the trucks. Oh my gosh, a Ford Super Duty tanker truck. And an old Peterbilt cab over in mint condition.
look at this crazy thing, a 1958 Tracto loader. You sit up there in the front. They didn't have much safety back in those days. No uh, rollover protection or anything. There's for all you Woody fans, got the surfboards on the roof and everything, a 1951. All your picnic stuff there ready to go. Okay, that's a 48, oh, 48. Okay. and that's a 45. Yeah. Your shifter. Look at the patina on that seat. That's a well-used bike. Cool saddlebags, too. Saturday night special. Your Chevy custom Chevy van.
Dodge fans, the Dodge Ram. Take a look inside. Well, the sun is setting in Ohio today, and uh, our trip to Cleveland to the IX Center is done. What did you think of the IX Center for your first trip there? First trip was very positive. <laughs> that was good stuff. That was a big show, man. Really a lot of variety, which made it a great first experience. I don't if know. you liked uh, a plane, you got to see a plane. <laughs> if you liked hot rods, you got to see some good hot rods. I'll tell you, there was a lot so. to see there. Good grief. And, and we didn't see it all. We could No, we didn't actually go down all the aisles. And we were there, I think, three hours total uh, of walking, looking at stuff, and we, we just couldn't see it all. We would have had to been there eight hours, I think, to see every and to really take it all in. But, True. Um, we'll give you a taste of it anyway today. Well, Steve, it was good, good being with you today, man. It was a great time. Appreciate yeah, I it. I don't get to spend Thanks much time with my me. brother, but this sure <laughs> was a highlight. Here. Yeah, that was a great day. I appreciate you. <laughs> Thinking of me, and sorry Val couldn't have gone, but uh, I was glad to take her place so oh, yeah, in, in a good way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I wish Val would have been with us here today too. And, and we know she's home, relaxing and just taking it easy. And uh, it was a great pleasure of mine to spend the day with my brother. Well, guys, that's it. That wraps it up for today. Hope you liked the video. Hope you enjoyed the trip to see all of the. Uh, Piston machines, engines, planes, cars, military vehicles, what have you. We sure had a good day. Catch you later.